recording. There you go. It was recording. Don't gaslight me. How dare you? Gaslight's not a thing. You're crazy, Eric. All right. Welcome to bag mail. That's what it's been called the whole time. Right? Bag mail? It's been, it's been called bag mail this whole time. How have you not known that? Uh, Are you crazy? You're right. It's bag mail season two. Bag mail season two. Craziness. That's what gaslighting is. Everything else on the table. <laughs> Hi everybody! Welcome to Mailbag. What? This is Mailbag. No you seasons. You lied to me. And this is our first package. Don't you dare stab me! Practice safe knife handling, people. We are professionals. Ah, shit. You can say. I don't know. We, is this called practice? Is this practice? Because I feel like we are threatening to stab each other all the time. <laughs> we shouldn't have that in our practices. No, it's because we're professionals. Okay. You're allowed to do that when you're professionals. Yep. yep. You can just. Whatever you want. Nice. I watched a guy who crashed a car into water and then wait for it to sink to escape because he was a professional. Professional, yeah, okay. Right? Yep. Your name. Wait, didn't we watch your name? We did watch your name, and but we now we have the DVD. Which is just, I mean, it's going to be better quality than streaming, my, my friend. Has anyone seen the movie Your Name? If not, I recommend it. It's a beautiful movie I believe you would enjoy. We hey, have this is a rare opportunity where we can say... You know what? We are going to react to this. And then we went back in time and did it like two years ago. But we didn't do that until you sent us this. The space-time continuum is a fragile, fragile thing. But your request is granted. Thank you so much. (laughs) Who sent? We don't know. Kristen. Kristen. Kristen, thank you. Gara. Gara. Looking at my knife handling skills. This is Aaron. It does. I thought it had other names on it. Dang it. Take it away from me. You don't get Now you're making me think I'm crazy. Think my name's Aaron. There you go. Oh, I thought it was one of these. Oh, this has all of our names on it. Mm-hmm. I was looking at it. Like, wait a minute. That's just me. I'll wait. Conveniently, I'm here with my Scream Stream shirt. Because all through October, we're doing Scream Stream. We are. Ah! Streaming. And Melanie's going to play stuff, too. And Eric's going to play stuff, mm-hmm. too. And maybe mm-hmm. other people that aren't just the crew are going to yeah. play stuff, too. Like playing, watching, you want to have Baba. a good time this October. That's where you go. <sighs> Whoa. This is uh, like Star's Poetry Pens. What? Star's? Let's see what they how they how they work. I'm going to say, like, every other pen to ever exist, but you never know. Enjoy your Galaxy Zodiac Pens. Oh, Okay. Oh, Zodiac pens. So they these are the pens. Kill you. These are the pens the Zodiac Killer wrote his letters in. I knew it. What a collector's item. Like, these are the pens? These are the pens. There's an opening somewhere. I will find it. Careful, Eric. Practice safe knife usage. I did. Okay, what pen do you want to try? Well, are they like... Oh, yeah. They yeah, they got like Zodiac Which one's the and stuff. Capricorn? Man, I don't know. There's some constellations... They're all constellations. It's not in English. I'm going to pick this one because it has a uh, little, like, flame at the end. It kind of looks like, you know, a little bit. Okay, let's try it out. Symbols. What should I write? I don't know. Zodiac. How do you spell Zodiac? <laughs> all right. So. Is that how you spell Zodiac? Zodiac. Yes, Eric. Yes. Zodiac. All right, so we got Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Where's, where's, which one did you have? This one is sperm. What is this? Sperm? Leo. Leo? Leo. Let go mom, Leo. N- not that Leo. Aquarius. That's why it looks like water. Aquarius. What's this one? Taurus. Ah, oh, like the Pokemon. Is this Gemini? Yep, it's Gemini. Like the Gemini man. What's this one? I don't know what the M is. Scorpius. Where's Capricorn? Get over here. This one is an H for Pisces. Pi- I don't know anything. Uh, Ugh, fish. I want some Pisces of cake. I don't know. Oh, this one's a sexual one. I want it. Ugh. You're right. Doesn't it look like 69? <laughs> uh, sure. It's, um, that one is crab, cancer. Uh, what's this M one? There's, a, there's two M ones. It is. They're very satisfying to write with. I don't know what that is. Where the hell is Capricorn? Oh, wait, is this Capricorn? That might be Capricorn. Oh, there's Libra. 
There's uh, Ares. Nacho Libre. <gasps> Ares, God of War. This one is Ver... Nope. This one's Capricorn. The last one that I pulled out was Capricorn. All right. So that's what it is. Okay. I was just curious. I wanted to know which one is which. Here, try to write it on this note that says, Enjoy your Galaxy Zodiac pens from Kristen. It seems smooth. Super smooth. Ooh. Look at that. I made that. You did. On my own. Good job. Are you going to show it to people, or are you just going to tease them and not show it? No. He did his this own. was a whole thing he of looking at symbols, and, and no one will know yes. anything. Don't show my name, now they know. Now I know. Thank I like, you. I like social in there, too. No. <laughs> you got to stop doing that. Well, I committed to memory. I had to do something with it. It's little. It is little. Ooh. Littler. Okay. Oh. It's a boba sore. Is it? It's a little Bobasaur pin. Oh, Bobasaur. Okay, I was like, that's not Bobasaur, you fool. Uh, I can't get the thing open, so now I can't. Damn. Damn. Enjoy your Pokemon pin from Kristen. Aw, oh, thank you. See? Look. Wow. <laughs> Bobasaur. Okay, I was confused at first. But now I'm not. Can you see that? It's really hard. Is it focused? Where's the focus at? It's like there, here. Yeah, it's right at the edge. Just zoom in. <laughs> cool. All right, just zoom in. Bobasaur. Bobasaur. I don't know who Rebecca is, but she ain't getting that. <laughs> what, are we, what are we doing? Trying something different, practicing. Is this safe knife practices? I think so. The knife safe. doesn't move, so it's safer. Safe. Hopefully, no one trips. Was, you just hope there's no, like, yeah, I wouldn't keep a blade like this all the time. Not all the time. I bought just it. like half a day. How about, how about like this? Yeah, yeah. All right, we got a package. In this package is Wait. Assassin's Creed Black Flag, oh, okay. an original novel based on the multi-platinum video game from Ubisoft. You ever play Black Flag? I have not. I played a little bit of three, which had a little piratey yeah. ship area. Cool. Yeah, it is a little bit. Uh, really, those sections were like, we could make a whole game about this. And they did. Hmm. Edward Kenway, I think is the name of the assassin in this one. Okay. It, this one has some fantastic trailers, too, by the way. I was looking up Oliver Bowden because the name sounded familiar, but he's just done most of the Assassin's Creed books. Okay. Yeah, it was a fun game. I liked it. It has some crazy glitches, though. Like one time my ship just like went to hell. And all the water went with it too. For Eric, the Assassin's Creed fan of the group. Am I, the, I think I am Assassin's Creed fan of the group. I played the second one. I've probably played the most. Yeah, of, I've only played everybody two here. in a little bit. Hi, Blind Wave. My name is Dylan, and I've been Hi, watching Dylan. since around 2016. And I'm finally sending something. Eric, will you play Assassin's Creed Mirage on stream from Dylan? Uh, I would love to. Um, I got a lot of games in the back order. Again, we do have Scream Stream happening right now. So, uh, Assassin's Creed Mirage. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'm going to put it on the list and then see if I can fit it in to the schedule. Jedi. But it could also be a thing that I do on my own and maybe like do like a, a different kind of video, like a different kind of review versus just playing it all on stream. You know? Sure. We'll see. Yeah. But uh, I am a big fan, fan of... Uh, I liked Valhalla, and there's a certain character in Valhalla I liked, and it seems like he's back in this one. Ooh. Or I should say, it seems like we're going to see Them. what he was up to yes. before that, uh, before which is cool. Events. Yeah, Very cool. Baghdad, I believe, is the city that it's in. And it's just a city, too, which I'm kind of excited to Just the city? Do that, yeah. No forest or nothing? No, it's kind of like how Brotherhood did like just Rome. That was, was that, that wasn't two, right? Two is two. Brotherhood was like one of the spinoffs. Yeah, there was Assassin's Creed two, and then there was Brotherhood and Revelation. I think it's called. maybe. Yeah, there were like two spinoffs I know yeah. of. Ezio. I love the Ezio era. All right, um, it's been a joy watching you all fall in love with one of my favorite shows. Okay. I hope you like the stickers, Jessica, aka Ziggy. Ziggy. Well, what show could we do? So many from shows. Ziggy Town Designs. Okay. Cool. What shows? I fall in a lot of love with a lot of shows. All right. Yeah, I mean, you don't know what it could be though. No. Uh, you think it's live action or animated? I'm guessing animated. Live action then. I'll go that way. I'll cover it. I'm gonna go with 
But I think I'll go with Faulty Towers. I fell in love with it. Be curious, not judgmental. Who is this from? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what the next one is. I if, mean, it's a cool... See if that triggers any idea. Be curious, not judgmental. It's on a uh, dartboard. Dart, darts. You know what? I'm going to go up there and change the focus to about right here. Mm. All right. I think this next sticker. So you, be curious, not judgmental. You're not sure what it's from yet, right? I mean, so many things apply to that. And dartboards, though. What do I know it has dartboards? Because this next one is going to tell you what it's from. Ted Lasso! Richmond. Yeah, okay. Hell yeah. Damn, I should have picked Ted Lasso. I had to live action. Once, once I saw that, I'm like, ah, oh, dang, it is live action. All right. Yeah. I, I, okay. I put this quote on my Facebook after we got to that episode. Really? Yeah, so oh, I'm like, nice. I remember this. Awesome. But then I was, I was like, I wonder if Eric's going to remember. I did not. Because at first I was like, wait, what's this? I'm like, oh, that's right, Ted Lasso. That's right. Cool. I'm going to put this on my notebook for Ted Lasso. Ted Lasso. I get one. We have four. Yeah. Awesome. You get two and I get two. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> well, thank right. you. Yeah, Ziggy Town Designs is what this is from. Ziggy. It's an Etsy. It's an Etsy. And a website, ziggytown.com. Thank you, Ziggy. Thank you, Ziggy. So much. Whoa. So much. So much. I do really like Ted Lasso. Ted Lasso. Oh yeah, it's it's so wholesome. It's what we needed after Brandon Brothers. <laughs> Brandon Brothers was tough. Uh oh, Star Wars High Republic Adventures. We got another uh, collection here of some comic books. That's awesome. I want to flip through. Oh no, Aaron! I don't want you to be spoiled. Is it the Dengar? It looks awesome. Uh, Very cool. Thank you so much. Uh, I love and appreciate that our High Republic collection has gotten so vast, and we haven't read it in a year. Yeah, haven't. It feels like it's been a while. I'm really anxious to get back There's a lot of stories. There's so much. We made a a whole channel just for Star Wars, and we still can't find the time to do everything we want to do. (laughs) So many stories. So many. All right. Well, thank you so much. We'll put this on the... uh, I really like the art, actually. I've seen some Star Wars comics, especially some of the newer ones, where I'm like, I don't like that art, but this art's really cool. Awesome. Ah! Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. What's that? They look like goggles. Goggles? Oh, I understand what they are. They're safety goggles. Do you know who needs that? Motherfuckers are eating hot meatballs. <laughs> these are for Calvin. Isn't Those it? are for Calvin. Let's put these on his chair. So he has them available to him. Thought these might help to avoid any future hot sauce related injuries, yeah. Calvin. I hope your eye's doing okay, and I look forward to seeing the next hot sauce challenge from Pete Kachu. Well, I'm glad that you liked it and that you want us to do more. And you're trying to protect Calvin from himself. Here, we'll put him back in here and give yeah. him to Calvin, yeah. too. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, I grab like I don't, I don't know what this is. Yeah, makes if, a lot of sense. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, uh, we uh, put hot balls in our mouth. And That's the name of the. Yep. Once I put that in the title, was like I think it just works. Yeah, it's a video. You can find it right now. Mm-hmm. Calvin had a fun time. Yeah, you can't even say it's clickbait because <laughs> we did. Those are my best kinds of clickbait. When you're like, oh, well, they did yeah, it. Granted, <laughs> they did it. They got me. Was that a trick? <laughs> There you go. How do we lose track with two people? (laughs) I was preparing it for you. Thank you, sir. Easy. See? It ran this ribbon. Look at this thing. It sounds like a puzzle in there. It's still going. Eric, just open it. Oh, my God. (laughs) It could be puzzle-ish. It is a box. Okay. And in that box is a single sheet of tissue paper. No, that's outside the box. There you go. We don't know. Open the box. Oh. All right. It looks like it's sealed. Is it going to be what's actually on the outside of the box, or is it going to be something different? You never know with these type of things. I'm assuming that because it was gift wrapped. It is. It's a bunch of coffee. Why? Donut shop. Okay. Thank you, Eric. Okay, let's see what we got. K 
caramel vanilla cream. Yep. Hell yeah. Donut Shop. The original Donut Shop Duo's Nutty Caramel. Okay, yeah. French vanilla. We got some original caramel Kahlua. hideaway. So you put, these are like the... Cinnabon Classic Cinnamon Rolls. Yeah, you put these in like a machine and it's like alchemy, right? It just creates coffee. Caramel hideaway. I think I that I we know. have a coffee machine, right? We do upstairs. We can do this. This is awesome. Ooh. Let's see who's the responsible. What's this? Raspberry chocolate lava. This is lava, Eric. Lava, lava. Uh, enjoy your K-Cups coffee from Kristen. Kristen, thank you, Kristen. Thank you so much. I think Kristen got one of everything when it came to... Uh, He's on that. When it came to... Oh, crap. What's the name of the show? Not Hunter Hunter. Ted but, Lasso. Yu Yu Hakusho. Yu Yu Hakusho. I think she found everything, and now she's like, what do I do now? I know. Coffee. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Get out of here hey, with that. Hey, come on. That's goaltending. Get out of here with that weak shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Caffeine is very important to us here at Blind Wave. Keeps me fueled throughout the day. Oh, man, yeah, we got some packages. I didn't realize this bag had all this stuff. Let me uh, let me check the. Oh damn, yeah, we got a lot of video left. You see the time code? It's a lot left. Yeah, check it. See, that's a lot left. All I'm saying is, right now, like you've gotten a lot, and we're gonna have a lot more. This is the time to like the video right now. <laughs> Oh, okay. okay. Notebooks for Unico. Unico, the fantastic adventures of. Okay. More right. Unico. I like notebooks. Notebooks are some of my favorite things. Two. I like, we got pins. We got notebooks. Three different styles. Let me smell the paper, though. It's not too bad. Why are you smelling the paper? Well, sometimes paper smells amazing. Sometimes it smells bad. This is medium. You didn't say that was an option. Why? <laughs> well, thank you. Is this from... Uh, I did not see a note, so I don't know exactly, but I will assume it was also to Eric, Calvin, Aaron, Rick. Mm -hmm. It's Kristen. probably Kristen. Yeah, well, she's in. Thank you, Kristen. Pins, so... Thank you! All right, this is for me again. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna rip this sucker open. Jeez. Can I just, could just, whoa, you had a knife. All right, now rip these bags open. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. <clears throat> Individual bags for this one. You know. Inside is, is that another notebook? It is, uh, yeah, it's a notebook. With a For unicorn. a unicorn. Um, so like Unico. <laughs> But this one's a little more uh, Art Deco. Art Deco. It's very cool looking. I like the. I love the design. I'm gonna assume all of them have it. Are they all the same or are they different arts? Enjoy the last unicorn notebooks for when you decide to watch the last unicorn. You will be ready. P.S. I'm also sending you some Unico notebooks as well. Ah. They will be in a separate package from. Kristen. No. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. You have us prepared for the inevitable day. Uh, we should also remind people that even though it is awesome and I love when people share the things that they love and send us stuff that's related to it, that if you really want to uh, you know, have your voice heard about what requests, uh, requested reactions, we have a spot on our website where people can just do that now. You can... Uh, go to your, make a profile at blindweb.com, go over to recommendations, and bam, you're already uh, putting up a list together. Yeah. Pick three. Very cool. Well, thank you. I will oh. put these over here, put the coffee on top, and flatten them out more. There we go. E A Sports. E A Sports. It's in the game. Ah! No, the smoke went out. Ooh. <laughs> Did it. <laughs> All right, I was wrong. There is more, Yu Yu Hakusho. This is Kazuma the White. 
in his white outfit. Enjoy your Kuwabara figurine from Kristen. Kuwabara, yes. Cool. Kuwabara. Awesome. Yu Yu Hakusho Animation 30th Anniversary. That's it's awesome. that old? Yeah. I didn't realize how old it was. It's foundational, my friend. Required reading for some anime fans. Are you an anime fan? Maybe that's the manga? Maybe. Release and then the anime was later? Yeah, I'm not sure. Me neither. Thank you! Rick would know. He would. Alright. We hey. got a note to start out with. Got a letter. Um, it's a little long. We're going to go ahead and look at these first. They are DVDs. We have... Uh, the fifth wave, not the blind wave. Okay. We have a five-film Chuck Norris collection, which is Logan's War, Bound by Honor, The President's Man, The President's Man, A Line in the Sand, and bonus movies. What? Hi, it's a bonus movies. It's five. Uh, Man with a Camera, String of Pearls. The, that the two movies? No, it's one movie. And then Lola. Wait, those are all Chuck Norris movies? Yep. Uh, Legend of Korra, Book 2, Spirits. Attack on Titan, the complete first season. And The World is Still Beautiful, an anime uh, of unknown origin. Ooh, there's a royal wedding in this one. Okay. Hello, Crew Blind Wave. Michael Rutherford here. Time for another installment of Things I Want... Slash need to get rid of. <laughs> so I might as well give them to Blind Wave. Uh, this time, it's an assortment of DVDs. They are in order. A movie titled The Fifth Wave, starring Chloe Grace Mortez. I don't know the name. A five-film Chuck Norris collection. Season two of The Legend of Korra. Season one of Attack on Titan. And an anime series titled The World is Still Beautiful. It's a 12-episode romance series that I think is really good and worth a watch. It does not have an English dub, so unless you guys start reacting to subbed anime, you're probably better off watching in your own time. Speaking of DVDs, I recently purchased Faulty Towers on DVD so that I could watch along with you guys. I will admit, I found episode one tough to get through, Mm. Uh, but I did find episode two much more entertaining to watch, although although I still wouldn't say uh, it's it's as gut-busting hilarious as you guys seem to find it. It is still fun to watch you guys laugh so much to an admittedly fun show, especially since I had never even heard of Faulty Towers before your reactions. Uh, Also, Manuel and Polly are the two best characters. They are. They're great. Also, Eric, in a recent mailbag, the one where I sent The Witcher, Ronan, you said that because I've been sending gifts in mailbag for so long, you've learned to recognize my handwriting. Let me just say that was legitimately the biggest senpai has noticed me moment in my life, in recent memory, but not in a weird way or anything. Anyway, that should be it for now. Hope you enjoy the DVDs. Michael Rutherford. And then did a Poultry Towers. <laughs> poultry Towers. <laughs> you can kind of see okay. the, the you okay. can, you can see the, ta- the, the little su- symbol of the sign from Poultry yep. Towers. Thank you so much, Michael. <laughs> Very um, nice. We will put these in the library where we have many DVDs. So, Chloe Grace uh, Mortez was, I think, the main girl in Kick-Ass. Cool. Um, Carrie, she's in Nimona. She was Wednesday in Adam's Family, the animated one. She's in Tom okay. and Jerry. So, she's been in a few things. After looking, I'm like, okay, yeah, I recognize her. Four but, waves of increasingly deadly alien attacks have left most of Earth decimated. Oh, wow, that sounds Against bad. a backdrop of fear and distrust, Cassie is on the run, desperately trying to save her younger brother. As she prepares for the inevitable and lethal fifth wave, Cassie teams up with a young man who may become her final hope, if she can only trust him. Okay. Sounds so, good. It's apocalyptic only... aliens. Yep. And Leif Schreiber. Uh, I'm assuming that's the man that she has to trust. Leif Schreiber. Yep. I'm, I'm assuming that's the man that she has to trust. <laughs> they had to recast Balin. He wouldn't be too bad. You don't think? I think he would be pretty good. He was really good at Sabretooth. I liked him. Okay. Be short. He's also in Scream. Thank you! Huh? <laughs> he was also in Scream. He was, was he in Scream? Well, he was in it for like a second. He the was, first uh, one? Yeah. Who was he? He was the guy, I believe, if I recall, he was the guy who went to jail for killing uh, the main character's mom. Clarice? And he was like the murderer. Her name's not Clarice. But then they were saying, no, Cindy. Cindy. 
But then, like, oh, hello, Cindy. Yeah, okay. But then right. they were like, ah, you got the wrong guy, Cindy. Yeah. I think it was. I think. Okay. I think Lee played that guy, but he was only in it for oh a minute. Yeah, I gotta rewatch the movie. I guess I don't remember a lot. I just remember the voice and the Jason part at the end. Yeah, especially now, right? Yeah. Ah! Ah! Yes, your will. Oh. Use the power of your will. There's a spot back here. Oh, okay, your power. The other side. Your will would do nothing against that ribbon. Yeah, that ribbon's really strong. It's real strong. It's green too. It's your favorite color, which yeah. is your weakness. Yeah, it's weak. Weak to green. And red, and what is this? No, oh, there's a note. Oh, right here. I got it for you, buddy. <laughs> the note. Enjoy your pin board display organizer. <gasps> oh, yay! I'll, I'll go get our current one. <laughs> oh. Ooh, that one's big. Da -da. This is our current pen board organizer. It's quite full. I don't know where we got that. I think someone sent it in. Someone sent it to it. us, yeah. But yeah, uh, it certainly doesn't have all of our pens because we ran out of room. But now, we got that. That's awesome. Who's sent? Kristen. Kristen! It's hard to see, but there, there's little spots that you can put the pens on, see? Now we don't have to run out room on Calvin's hat anymore. Yeah, I know. That was getting expensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was really charging us a lot. He's interesting. So you put it like on this and it just... Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah it sits there. Gotcha. And then that way I guess you don't have to have like all the... On the, the back. back. Yeah, yeah, the back would be flat. Very cool. Thank you. Yeah, dude, it's like a portfolio. You could take this anywhere. Don't break it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Stab me! Alright, I feel books or comics. Notebooks! Composition notebooks with dragons. Dragons. A whole bunch of dragons. Yeah, they're different, all kinds of different looking ones. Damn! What? No, no. Eric, damn it, I told you. No, I didn't. <laughs> Uh, there's four of them. It came in a gift bag. I think it's reasonable to assume this is from Jeff Knapp. Oh, that's my good one, yeah. Kristen, thank you so much, Kristen. Thank you, dragons. Dra no, damn it. Dragon! No. Oh, I forgot. Thick in my brain now. Thank I you, do. Eric. That was a close one. We almost missed that one. <sighs> That'd have been bad. It's okay. It's okay. We're gonna be watching Dragon Ball Z tomorrow. It's fine. Dragon! Paper in there. There it is. Hmm. Enjoy your Yu Yu Hockey Show poster. P.S. I was wondering if maybe one day we could get a behind the scenes video Yu Yu Hockey Show style. Love to see how you guys uh, how you guys have all of the YYH merch I have sent set up. Please from Kristen. Uh, that would be fun. I'll have to. Uh, show where it all goes. There. Yeah, maybe at some point. Um, a we lot haven't of it done is behind much. over there, set yeah. up. But it is getting a little crowded. It's been crowded for years. It's fine. It is crowded. Yeah. So we got like different places for like posters, for pens, for pops, and various other things that begin with P. So typically, not all the merch goes in one place. Yeah. It depends on the type of merch it is. Mm -hmm. like and shirts going. It also places. depends on uh, Dababa's madness. And trying to find places. Yeah, she definitely said she needs more pops. Yeah, I'm pretty sure right? that's specifically she asked I think for that. what she said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she over there? She's right there. <laughs> I don't know if she heard us. I think I didn't post it. I just went with it. Paper. 
Okay, we got boxes in here. Are they heavy? No. Okay. And they're probably not expensive. Yeah, we can leave them there. <laughs> ah, no! <laughs> okay. Uh, message. Message. Now, what, uh, there's four of them. Life Persona from Kristen. Okay. Uh, Inside this is personalized mall box. Nice box. Mall box. What's a mall box? It has. Yeah. Oh, I have so much hair right now, Aaron. <laughs> ah! How was... dare you? You get a Yu Yu Hakusho. Uh. A uh, really cool. Oh, hey, look at that. It's even what, got a, what are these called? Mug. A mug? Is that a mug? It's got a lid. The mugs have lids? Uh, if they have lids. Okay. All right, well, that's a mug with a lid. Awesome. I'm going to assume the rest of these are that as well. I'm going to leave them in their box. A better! Ah! That's a better one! I want to get Yay! Oh, well, yeah, I can fill that one whole. Ah! Okay. <laughs> You're like flexing it off. Ah! Oh, that's a lot of hair. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Sorry, Calvin's not here. No, it's fine. I can take it. I can take Y-Y-H. it. Y-Y-H. That's cool. I like there's this side and there's this side. Yeah, really cool. And it's all got a nice little handle. Yeah. And, and uh, it's got the size down here where it fits in the cups in the car. Yeah. You know like how you get one and you're like, shit, it doesn't fit. It's too big. Or... Yeah, sure. I get you. That one fits. That's good. Nice. Awesome. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Thousands of Tootsie Rolls! Holy crap! Tootsie? Yeah, yeah. Wait, that's all right. 700 pieces. Okay, so hundreds of Tootsie Rolls. This is like a, this is like cereal. You're gonna put this in a bowl and put some milk on it? Tootsie Rolls Eat cereal, that up. yeah. Can you imagine a spoonful of Tootsie Rolls? Okay, we can put this in a bowl. Oh, Look at this. Yay! Soka it's Mando Soka! Awesome. Yep, number 19 of this line. And to go with it, Admiral Thrawn. Red Admiral Thrawn. Very cool from the Black Series. This being specifically the Lucasfilm 50th uh, Archive Series. And this being from the Mandalorian line of the Black Series. Number 19 in the Mandalorian line. Well, keep up the great work y'all do. I look forward to watching more reactions from the team. May the force be with you, David Weller from David Weller. Thank you, David. A Clone Wars veteran and now wandering Jedi, Ahsoka Tano forges her own path in the galaxy, fighting injustices that she discovers. Miss Tom Kane. This is cool. There's a timeline on the back of this. Yeah. Isn't that neat? Yeah. Huh. Cool. Thank you so much, David. And for the Tootsie Rolls. I might need to pause and go to the bathroom and come back. All right. Ooh. I'll entertain the people. No, I'll just pause it. You're gonna I will now say every word I know. All right, I'm gonna leave. Badger. Wheelbarrow. Sicily. Are you going to have medical? Pizza. Bartholomew. Acne. Intersection. Trans stipulation. I'm done with this bit. I'm going to use this time to react randomly to a video online. What's a good video? Well, let's look at the current trending on YouTube. We know that's never not a bad idea. Uh, we got, we got a, here's a short from Mr. Beast. I paid a random student, I paid a random student college tuition. You're not. Uh, you're not getting that. Can I see if you're subscribed to me on YouTube? Yes. Okay. He is subscribed. He subbed. How much does your tuition cost? Fourteen thousand dollars. Carl Nolan, come in here real quick. Give me one second. Oh. Oh. So this is ten thousand dollars. He said it was fourteen grand. So give me one of those. Um. You know, just have twenty thousand dollars. Have some extra money. Oh my god. Your college tuition is now paid for. You literally could lie to me and said a hundred grand, and we would have given it to you. That's funny. That's so funny. Go get that. Thank you so much. I like Mr. Beast. I know a lot of people don't like him, but I do. I gotta make sure, just in case I'm walking down the street and I need my tuition paid. Am I subscribed to Mr. Beast? It's weird, because I'm logged into Blindly, but I don't like 
subscribing to people as a group, but you know what? I'm gonna. He's certainly in my algorithm. I see videos pop up. Yeah. I'm subscribed. Where the fuck's my money? <laughs> All right. I'm just going to open TikTok and watch things until I get bored of what I'm watching. Let's see how long it takes. Yeah. This is a big fat cat getting a treat. I'll jump in the air. I like that. Oh, he missed. Oh, yeah, there's a big fat cat jumping from a cat tree. And he also missed the chair he was falling into. Okay. You've got to be kidding me. TikTok has a meme. A meme. Yeah, when you have... Meme. M-E. M-E. It's dumb. Memes. You know, when it's I get to a TikTok and it has zero TikTok. likes and zero comments. You've got to be kidding me. Imagine going like this and that being the size of your head. Because, like, you can't even see the size of your head. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Imagine going like this and that being the size of your head. Fucking babies. That's what they're... Real- Reality is like if they do this, it fills up the entire spot. Of their heads, amazing. Hey Ooh, Dan McClellan. Let's see. Dan McClellan, McClellan. He's a. He's a. I, I like him. He pops up my algorithm every once in a while. He's a uh, biblical scholar, not a Christian scholar, a biblical scholar. So he looks at things purely academically when it comes to uh, translations and stuff like that in the Bible. So let's let's now, watch. Do not support the historicity. Hey everybody, a question I get a lot is whether or not Moses existed. The data mm. as we have them now do not support the historicity of the figure of Moses as described in the book of Exodus. I mean, like a lot of stories, it might be like an amalgamation of various stories and traditions and kind of like once it's actually put on paper, then all of those things are, are, are there. But it could very well have been based on a real slash real people. That tradition with millions of people escaping from slavery in Egypt somewhere between the 15th and the 13th centuries BCE, accompanied by a series of catastrophes that befell that society, is just not supported. That is true. We don't have any archaeological evidence of the Exodus, which there really should be. By any of the data. It is possible that there was a figure named Moses in ancient Israelite history who helped probably a much smaller group of individuals escape from slavery. So they probably like cross like a like a red stream. He's a much smaller, you know, not going through the whole sea, but like a red creek, you know? Cross that. Whether it was in Egypt or in the land of Canaan uh, is debated by scholars who suggest that maybe there is a historical kernel somewhere underlying this story. Mm. Uh, and one piece of data that may support this is the fact that... You know what's nuts? Dan McCullen will give like these little tiny uh, drops of biblical scholarship and he's like sitting in an Applebee's and there's music playing. Like, motherfucker just like, I got some time. Hey everybody, did Moses exist? Like, that's intense. That's kind of cool too. I like Dan. He's cool. Uh, if you're a person of faith and you come across his stuff, just remember that he's only a scholar. You know her. What are you doing? I'm. I was just going on TikTok, seeing when I got bored, I was gonna stop. I've gone through some great stuff. How'd you talking about words? Yeah, you knew this like kid. This it's a giant head. And that being the size of your head, because like that's not his head. What? You were pooping. I had to He's make. Saying like, if your <laughs> arms were as big as your head. Yeah, imagine guess. how big my head would be. I mean, that'd you be, know, I'd be like Modoc. That'd be really big. Yeah. Incoming message from the big giant head. All right. I just left it rolling. We're back. Rob, I thought you were in words. Rob, feel. I've been in that quick. I'm like, how long is that going for? <laughs> Rob, feel free to cut all of that if you want, to. or do it as socials or something. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Ooh, this is heavy. Hey, heavy. You ripped it. I did. Ooh, there's a lot of here. Okay. All right, there's four of them, so they're probably all the same. So let's open this one up. Oh, damn, you're quicker than I am. Ha-ha, I got it! 
that? Uh, it is. Hey. Oh, campus. Okay. Spy family. Spy family. Books. But dude, there's like <coughs> five of them in here. So that means we have five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Good 20 job. Spy Very proud of you. And they're all different. No. Cool. All right. Awesome. Spy family's been great. I like that. Really enjoy my spy family. Enjoy your spy family notebooks, with Kristen. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you. It's been a very fun show. Ah, damn. Damn. That's how it looks like it hurt. <laughs> it kind of did. <laughs> Pain is temporary, though. <laughs> this moment will last forever online. <sighs> Thank you. What? Some smell? No. There's... I breathed in and my nose made like a weird noise. Oh. And I was trying to replicate it. I can't do it. <sighs> What's that noise? Nothing. Just from the shot up there, I don't know what it is. Alright. Oh, Bags? Bags? Bag mail. Enjoy your gift bags. Use them for any upcoming birthdays or a type of celebration. I think they're like Zodiac bags. Mmm. We do have Christmas coming up. And birthdays. Yeah, these and are And Halloween. Cool. These are nice quality this, bags. This would be a good candy bag. That would be a good candy bag. The trick or treat! I mean, any bag can be a good candy bag if you have the will. As long as you have candy in it. Well, or a good imagination. Wait, why'd you throw those? What? Those are tissue paper. What are you gonna do with them? They came with this for the bag. You put them, them in the bag for the gift. It was like brand new tissue paper. It, right. it came with the gift. No! I'll pick him up later. <laughs> uh, uh, well, that's a heavy one. We'll go to this one. Oh, you abandoned it. You know, I could pick this one up with one hand. Okay. It's you, right? Uh, I think I opened sure, it. Sure, yes. Uh. Two, three, three. Look at this, Aaron. This gift could be Doc Ock. I like Doc Ock. I do like Doc Ock. Oh, wait. Chocolate Factory Marble Run. Cool. Marble Night City. Yeah, dude, we could do marble stuff. Whoa, this is kind of cool looking. This is a Ch Chocolate Factory one. You got, oh, look at this pot. <laughs> I'm trying to push them in front of you as you were trying to get there. <sighs> ah! Let's see, what's the last one going to be themed as marble? What is that marble? Mm -mm. It is... A boat? It, no, it's a gun! A gun! Terminator M870. It is... What does it shoot? Bullets. Interactive game, gun mechanism, safer bullet. It has a safer bullet. I thought it was going to be like a rubber band gun or something. Rubber band bullet, yeah, it's rubber band gun. Dude, I love rubber band guns. At the Lowell Oktoberfest, there used to be a guy that had a booth, and he, all he did was make rubber band guns. Rubber band guns. And he had, like, little ones, too, yeah. But he had, like, a, like a mini gun that you would, like, shoot off, and then... It was great. You even get shot with it, though. It hurt. I can imagine. Yeah. But it's rubber band, so you're fine. Steampunk also with sweet fantasy. All right. We're going to put this together off camera, and uh, we've had a fly problem. We're going to shoot some flies. But put it together on camera. Not right now. All right. Go like in another, another camera video. Or we could shoot marbles. Though. Calvin, go build this. Maybe. Shoot marbles. Yeah. Like we hit a marble, and then like the marble races, but we can shoot. Yeah, I want to make one marble. of those things where the marble like, bounces on like little notes. Like, yeah. They do like Harry Potter or Zelda theme and it's like doom 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 and yeah, like, it has like cool. little, like, that's so neat. They're CG, right? Those things? I don't know, I thought they were real. I'm pretty sure they're Maybe CG. I've seen both. I don't know. I certainly have seen like a Legend of Zelda one. It's really, really well done, but I think they're renders. Oh. So no one spent the time to make that? Well, someone had to spend time to make the render. I guess. 
Uh, okay, for Calvin from Joe in Toronto, I'm guessing that's the gun. For Eric, thank you for thank you and everything. Thank you and everyone at Blind Wave for all you do. From Joe. Thank you, Joe. And for Aaron from Joe. So one of those is for you, one of those is for me, one of those is for I'm going to assume gun. Calvin. Chocolate. Yep. Marbles. Yep. Because I've lost mine. Makes sense. I've lost my marbles. This one says my name on it. Oh. Oh. Huh. Oh. Oh. Caution. There we go. So this is... From First We Feast, uh, Hot Ones Challenge. Now, which set is this, Aaron? Well, I don't know yet. We should look. We did do hot meatballs. I would do yep. Hot Ones types of I think it's stuff. fate because this is the third set we have now. Getting ready for the anticipation of doing something like this. All right, so we have Season 21 lineup. Season 21. Hot Ones, the classic chili maple. That's probably as many seasons we would be in if we did season for mailbag. Probably, yeah. And it sounds ridiculous. 21 seasons. Curry Verde. Okay. Zesty Lemon Pepper. Nice. Chi... chi Zesty was... Chico one, or, Ghost? Or, or Chicho. I think it's Chico. Chico? Ghost. Los Caliente Rojo. Cool. Uh, Mako, Mako Snake. Yep. Uh, jalapeno Chico. Okay. Evolution. Oh, Da Bomb. Wait, which Beyond one? Beyond Sandy or a new one? I don't know. The Bomb Evolution. Evolution, okay. Alchemy Peppers, Watermelon Ghost, and The Last Dab, Apollo. Nice. They start at 1,600 Scoville. Mm-hmm. 6,000, 15,000, 36,000, 49,000, 71,000, 103, 135, mm-hmm. 641,000. Huh? Huh? 135,000 is the bomb. Then the next one, number nine, is 641,000. It's like six times hotter. It's six bombs? Six bombs. And then the last dab, Scoville Heat Units TBA. I got off the charts. Who knows what it is? Here's the last dab. All right. I give you a hundred bucks. Oh, crack that open. Give it a good chug. What? Chug? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Just a little squig. Like a no. Like I will that. eat wings with it. 200. We will do wings. Okay, we'll wings. do wings. We'll do wings. We'll do it right. We have, now, it's not just the wings, Aaron. We need really good questions. Questions. Okay, so, so we need to figure out how to get questions in. Yeah, so we need to find a way where people can submit questions that are tailor-made specifically for a person they want to do the Hot Ones Challenge. All right. Well, then we'll have to get that set up so that you guys can we'll submit questions. Yeah. And I'll just interview people while we eat chicken wings. That sounds fun. Eating chicken wings. Right. I didn't, I didn't hear anything else you said. Chicken wings. Chicken wings. Thank Hot you so ones. much. I don't know who sent this. Thank you. Hot ones. It'd be so cool to eat chicken wings, ask questions. I have to eat a lot. Mark Toasty. What's his name? Mark Toasty. Toasty. Shit. I forgot to put out my garbage today. I just remembered. Just now. I don't know why it popped into my head. All right. Mine goes on Friday. Really? Yeah. That's Thursdays. Read first! Oh, so shit. Uh, oh, it says not the PS. PS. Okay. All right. September 12th, 2023. Package one of three. Oh. Hello, Eric, Rick, Calvin, and Aaron. Hope you and yours are well. It's Mark, Toastmaster 7. Back with another package is... Last time, I sent the electronic Ocarina of Time. Oh. i glad that you guys liked it. Rick, your journey through Ocarina of Time was fun, majestic, frustrating, hilarious, nostalgic, and awesome. I agree. If you don't want to watch the entire series, you can watch it in highlight form at Blind Wave Gaming. Uh, right now, we've posted all the way up into the Water Temple, so you have a lot to get mm. through if you haven't seen it yet so far. But the real highlight was pushing the infamous meme of praise the chicken the chicken it made the whole playthrough legendary pun intended i look forward to your return to the world of zelda in majora's mask fingers crossed uh we'll make sure that rick and calvin get all of this information too by the way last time calvin wondered where in canada i'm from so a little about me i live in toronto shout out to rock and for the last eight years i have worked for the ttc which is the City Transit Agency Okay. Uh, as a transit operator. 
I started driving the old streetcars or trolleys. Mm. Oh, we had we used to have trolleys here in Maryland. Yeah. Used to. Uh, then we upgraded to the new ones. We never did that. We just got rid of them. No. Nope. Um, and now I drive the subway trains. Oh. Coincidentally, eight years ago is also when I discovered your channel. And after years of long shifts, bad shifts, working nights and weekends. Blind Wave was always there after my shift. Uh-huh. Watching your videos became part of my uh, de-stress routine after work. So this package slash packages are a token of my gratitude for all you guys do. Thanks, guys. Awesome. Thank I mean, you, Mark. Appreciate you not watching while you're on the you know driving a train. That would be terrible if like it's swerving crashed. all over the place. You messed up. Is what happens. These guys and it's like you know, cowboy with the meatball. Like, ah, you know. <clears throat> um. Now on to the gifts. Okay. Last month, I went to uh, Teres- Teresia Island for vacation. Ter- Tersiria. I don't know how to say it. Uh, but it's where my parents hail from. Is uh-huh. one of the nine volcanic islands of the Azores Archipelago in the North Atlantic. And is part of Portugal. Okay. We're learning. Uh, it got its name because it is the third island discovered. Tersiria literally means... Uh, Third in Portuguese. Um, it's a beautiful island, laid back with none of the hustle and bustle of a big city, great food, amazing sights, mm-hmm. heights, trails, and a dead volcano you can walk in. That'd be cool. Better hope it's dead. Yeah. You don't want to wake it up. Well, I mean, if it's going to wake up, I want to be there see it, you know? You want to wake up while you're in it? Yeah, it'd be kind of cool. It'd be an adventure. You'd be you, dead. You might be dead. You never know. Lots of swimming spots, festivals, tons of tourism from the EU and North America, and cool. friendly people. Damn, I should have gotten you a travel book. But next time you go on holidays, consider uh, the island described as the Hawaii of the North Atlantic, which okay. I can't speak to since I've never been to Hawaii. Uh, all right. Anyway, uh, I got you some goodies. Okie dokie. All right. What the? That's a cow. So let's go ahead and open this up. We got, uh, yep, we got a cow. Stuffed cow. Obi loves cows. Too much, I should say. Loves cows too much. Yeah. I see this is one that can do white and chocolate milk. Yeah, start opening these. Ooh, okay. We got some stuff here. I'm just going to open this stuff up and then go through the notes. It's a cock. It is. <clears throat> is it a candle holder? All right. There's a lot of words in here that I'm not going to be able to pronounce very well. But there's a box of... Uh, K. Yadas. What? <laughs> que yadas. Uh, de Graciosa. Uh, they're tarts. It's a local sweet famous in all of Portugal. It's okay. made from eggs, cinnamon, and 100% Azorian milk. Uh, 100% Azorian butter and 100% Azorian sugar. That's what this is. is I don't know. Maybe not. That says a chorus. Yeah. So maybe it's not a Zorian. Uh, there's a bag of Burchos de Milko corn bugs. It's a local cookie made of corn and cinnamon. Okay. Okay. Corn Cookies. and cinnamon. A cow plushie and a bull figurine. Is that what you're opening there? I don't know. I guess. I haven't gotten there yet. I'm trying. Teresia has a large livestock and dairy industry. They also hold summer festivals such as Torados Acorda, which is rope bullfights. They close the main town street, release a bull on a rope held by five shepherds, and brave or dumb people can go and dance with the bull. Uh, yeah, I grew up with many a bull, limousine cattle, and you did not dance with them. Oh, yeah, they, they were they terrified. Could, those ones could drive. <laughs> Limousines, yes. Oh, no. Aaron! I hit his cock on the bull. No, don't leave the cocks alone. Um... It's basically the running of the bulls in Spain, but with one bull at a time, and mm-hmm. they have them on a leash. Yeah, but, I don't, don't want to play that game. Yeah, it's a dangerous, I wanna, dangerous I game. I don't need to. I'll, I'll bungee jump. How about that? But any torada, tor, torada, maybe, uh, without anybody getting nailed by a bull was considered a doll affair. <laughs> a Gallo de Barcelos, rooster of Barcelos. It's a folk symbol in Portugal since praise the chicken. I have searched for a cuckoo to send you, but no avail until I walk into a souvenir shop. So I bequeath thee with your own pocket chicken. Uh. That's for Rick. And lastly, some cardboard vehicles. 
that that they are. That I got from work. Oh, okay. Uh, from the transit. Uh -huh. TTC, school safety program. The streetcar is the vehicle I started driving there. That's um, probably, yeah. This cool. look before leaving a streetcar. Yeah, there you go. Bah, bah. Use the gifts as you fee see fit. Keep them. Gift them to any bah, of your kids. You can even give the cow plushie to Obi because he's a good boy. Yeah. When we went to go get Obi, we were at, we stopped at a pet store and we got a little plushy cow. And it is hands down his favorite toy, but he also bangs it. Like on the wall? Like he just uh, hits it on the wall and no. stuff? On the floor? On the floor. Yeah. In the living room. Blah, blah, blah. By himself. Whenever I see him like with it, like walking like around, um, like, all right, Obi, we'll see you in a bit, buddy. It's going to be like a doggy style. Have a good time. Yep. So maybe this can be a side piece. Side piece? No, we won't do that. <laughs> Is it bigger or smaller than the other one? Bigger. Oh, oh there you go. Yep. Uh, I hope you guys like the gifts. There's a small token of my appreciation for all that you do. They are a small token. Uh, talk to you guys soon and scream stream hype. <laughs> Your friend in the north, Mark. Toastmaster 7. Well, thank you, Toastmaster. P.S. Nani? Package one of three? Yes, there are two more packages coming with no note. One is for Eric, uh, and it is due to arrive sometime in November. Just make sure you have your Tears of the Kingdom switch with you in November. Ooh. I'm going to guess maybe some Amiibos that are coming out. I don't know. Uh, the other one should arrive soon and is the embodiment of ask and you, you shall receive slash be careful what you wish for. What we wish for. I was inspired by Aaron I in know. the Ed Boon reaction. And well, the package is addressed to you, Aaron Elliot. Wait, is that the so hot one? everyone can thank you for all the pain and suffering Coming your guys' way. That was the hot ones <laughs> when we just opened. Hashtag blame Aaron. Wins. Hashtag blind wave ain't no bitch. Hashtag Aaron uh, maniacal laugh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. People want the hot ones. They got to give them the hot ones, Aaron. I love the idea. That's, people generally, I think they blind wave. Oh, yeah, the hot ones. Oh, those reactors, right? Oh, is that what they say? I think so. I think that's what he means. Oh, not... Okay. Like they think of the normies and they're like, oh, the ones that talk all the time. It, just through the show. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the ones that are like, they're just as bad as XQC. <laughs> the fucking normies. <laughs> but by the way, oh, they're the hot ones. <laughs> normies, the hot ones. Normies did hot ones way before we did. Did they? Yep. Did they eat hot stuff? Yeah. Oh, did they? I mean, you have to. That's the whole point. I thought you mean like they watched hot ones. No. That'd be different. Nope. They did it. So good job. And thank you so much for the note, for the gifts, and for the thoughts. Ah. What are you reading? Uh, it's it's cheater. For, it is for Rick. But I want to see it. <laughs> Open it up, Aaron. This is from Joe in Toronto. Whoa, uh, 3D, 3D pinball. pinball. Oh, neat. That's so cool. Oh, look at that. It's a power supply that goes with it. Retro circus decoration. It's got huh. copper plated bells. This is cool. Ramp launch. Yeah. Rod. Look at that. That's cool looking. Mm hmm. Little. I wonder how difficult it is to assemble. I don't know. I don't think Rick can do it. Little tiny metal things mess with them. You didn't like those. But it's, most of it's wood. True. I think you glue a lot of it. Very cool. Oh. We'll give that to Rick. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Joe. Thank you, Joe. And then we each got a thingy thing. Yeah, we did. I got marbles. Yep. Last package? Uh. That's a big one, Aaron. That is a big one. Look at this package. Uh. Jeez. All right. Yep, this is the last one. All righty. It's certainly a big boy. All right. Is this all one? one? Uh, I guess it is. Have you ever seen a bigger gift bag from Amazon? That's a candy bag. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Dude, this is. I can make a tank. You can make a tank. Or you can be Solid Snake. Oh my god, this bag 
so big. What is it? It's got a box. It's a box. Alright, take that. Keep that back. Jeez. Look at how big this it's is. It's so big. Oh my gosh, Aaron. What? So, you know how we said we might have a coffee maker that works with oh. those things? They said a coffee maker? We definitely have a coffee maker that works with those things. Holy crap. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. We can have one down here. Wow. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Caffeine delivery. Enjoy your new coffee machine from Kristen. This is awesome, Kristen. Thank you. Well, I'm personally, I am always trying to find new ways to caffeinate at the studio here. So this is cool. I like a dollop. Yeah, let's get brewing. Mm. We can put stickers on this. Ted Lasso stickers. Ted Lasso stickers. Awesome. Take the light speed. Yeah, sugar. thank you so much. Yeah, it is light. Let's get our chewy. Awesome. Well, thank you, Kristen. Thank you so now, much. That will pair well with the uh, the cups. Now, how's it work? I think we need water. No, I don't think it's... Eric, that's not how you... Guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this mailbag. Don't forget, all month long in October, Scream Stream over at twitch.tv slash blindway. Join us, and you can add in your own jump scares with bits um, over there on the stream. So follow it down in the description below, and subscribe here for more uh, mailbag and other content that we put out. Perhaps Hot Ones video? That could be fun. Are you done? Yes! Didn't make one.